Look, now we're starting to see more ways that the Albanese Labor government is revealing its true socialist left tendencies. I mean, they've effectively taken a swipe at Israel today, as you've just seen, to appease their own left. This won't end well. And as we know, the standout domestic weakness of the Albanese Labor government is, of course, its climate and energy policy. We can all see how that's driving up our power prices and undermining our energy security, not mention our national security. And if that's not bad enough, the government has today decided to export their woke agenda on climate and gender issues. They're exporting it through our foreign aid program. They've announced an extra $1.7 billion in foreign aid, money that most of us would expect to be spent on education, on health, on law and order in the Pacific and the like. But have a listen to Labor's priorities. And we're requiring 80% of our programs to have a gender and climate change objectives in their design. And on climate change, this is incredibly important because for the Pacific, climate change is the number one existential threat and their number one priority. Yeah, you heard it. 80% focused on gender and climate. Honestly. But listen to that language, too, about climate change, describing it again as an existential threat and the number one priority for the region. This is spin that is pushed often by Pacific nations in order to put pressure on donor nations like ours. The biggest problems in the Pacific relate to their economies, building sustainable economies so their people can be educated, so they can be healthy and they can be prosperous. And what they need for that, as much as anything else, is reliable and affordable energy. That's just the reality. And as for the threats of climate, have a look at this. Even the ABC has had to report that islands and atolls are actually getting bigger. Even if sea levels are gradually rising, and of course they're always either rising or falling, the islands aren't disappearing. Quite the opposite. So there you go, the woke agenda infecting our foreign aid. Virtue signalling politics when what kids in the Pacific need is an education and a job.